Alright guys, so we're going to go ahead and recap. We left off on, uh, we were working on, we just got the engine on the unit and we just got it running and wired up with the key, all that good stuff. And now we are moving on, working on the rear end, getting it in, roll cage, uh, and other stuff. So stay tuned and let's get into part two. Alright, got all my tools set up. I'm about to uh, start by finish cutting this wheel off here. Uh, Shaggy is also on his way, and he's going to continue on his video on the, well it's mine and his video, on the lowered mower. Y'all can actually go down and check that out for more info and stuff on that mower. He's doing a pretty good job with it. But i got to cut this wheel off here, and then this wheel and tire is going to go in place of it and it will give me a matching set all the way around and then I can go ahead and lock this now I wasn't going to lock this I, there was so much that was going to be done originally that is just not you know everything's changing originally I was just going to put this axle back up in there the way it is with a new wheel but no Originally, I was going to try to get the old engine running, but it's just, it's wasted. I mean, look at that pitting. It's wasted. There's no reason in even trying to do anything with that, so. That's the reason I went with the 8-horse Tecumseh. That's the reason I'm going with a different wheel, and I'm locking it, and I'm just, I'm going totally different. But... It runs. Now will it ride? And I'm pretty sure that axle's good, so all I need to do is get a belt system, get this fixed, and get a, a chain on it. And we'll be uh we'll be rocking and rolling on this unit. Alright, got the uh wheel finally cut off from the axle and I've got it cleaned up. Gotta grind down a little more. Beat the uh bushings out of this wheel because they're metal and what I'm going to do is I'm wallowing these out and grinding that down so this will fit over that and then I'm going to I'm going to weld it to the axle so it don't move all right got our wheel on finally beat it on with a hammer after grinding it down welded the end here real solid and grinded it down now I'm working on taking apart the little transaxle here which I gotta take the gear off and then disassemble this and then I'm gonna go and lock everything up put it back together maybe add some grease to it and uh, go ahead and get it on the uh, on the build I just got it apart and I'm about to crack it open. It's just basic spider in there. Yep. Just a basic spider gear. So we're going to weld that together and put it back on. Alright, got the flying burn locker in, but I cracked the little case when I put it together. Luckily it does not lock in place, and nothing spins in there, so we're good. And if I have to doctor it up later, I will, but for now I'm going to try to run it. Because the whole axle spins, so... We're going to go ahead and get this up in the JC Penny and, uh, and worry about getting the belt system uh, routed. Alright, I'm about to call it for the evening. I've got the axle up in there finally. I had to extend it a little bit, but it's locked. It's in there. I've got one bolt that I've got to get in and I'm going to get it in tomorrow um, and I'm pretty sure this 
this build's probably going to take, it's been about four days, five days so far. I'm thinking another two, one to two days, and I should have this thing done. Especially if I can source a chain and get the pulley drive all right and everything. It might take another three, depending on brakes and everything. But, I mean, it's looking pretty good. And I'm pretty happy with it. Um, I'm on a call tonight. I'm about to go get something to eat. Probably going to go edit some video. And then we're going to start back on this again tomorrow. Alright, guys. It is the next day. I've got a little bit more plans with this thing. And it's just... It's turning into a... From a will it run video to a... I'm building a damn go-kart. I, I lay awake at night and just think about ideas that I could do the next day. And then I kind of execute them the next day. I don't know. I'm, I guess I obsess over it a little too much maybe. I don't know. But today's plan, I'm building a roll cage for it. And it's really just going to be for looks more than anything because I'm building it out of galvanized. But I think it'll look cool. Well, that's how far we've got so far. Um, looks like I might need to bend one tube or bend them both a little bit to straighten them up. And then go a uh like a cross like back with them but i mean so far it's looking pretty decent i'm gonna go take a break come back out here and get back at it and see how far i can get tonight with the roll cage turning out pretty decent so far Guys, there is the finished product of the roll cage. We've got it mounted down here, welded in. Then we got a stabilizer bar there, one there, one in the very middle, two bars going across the top. Got a stabilizer there, there. And then they mount on each side down here. Pretty sturdy. Holds the tank in. I like it. I think it turned out pretty decent. So next step is gas pedal. Hook the brake up. Do the separate clutch on the other side. Get the linkages run. Belt system and chain. So I'm going to go ahead and call it a night and probably get back on it uh, either tomorrow or Monday. Alright, it's been a few days. haven't been filming everything on this because the video is getting kind of long. But I went ahead and uh, last night I made a gas pedal. Here's our gas pedal. I still got to get springs and stuff, but got a tab over here to connect everything to got my reinforcements down here try to do a little design on it I also did a reverse pedal this one is the clutch it goes on the other side it's going to go into the floor and that's where the linkage is going to connect into and here's its pivot point it's going to be welded onto the floor frame and this is going to be the brake. So gas, brake, clutch. Clutch will be on the other side. Gas and brake is going to be over here. We, uh, or I, had to modify and make me a clutch pulley 
because the clutch pulley was gone. So I modified, put me a new bolt in there. I had to cut and bring out my belt guide because it's a little bit bigger pulley. And then the trans pulley was also rotted out, so I had cut the center out of it. I chopped, 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 chopped. Then what I did was I took and put it in the vise and I grinded it all the way down, all the way around. You see my grind. And I took this pulley off of the snapper deck. One of the old ones that I have, I had to cut the bolt, uh, the nut off. That's why you see a little bit of a, a little bit of a gouge. And then the, uh, it kind of recessed right into the hole. I just had to do just a little filing because there's like a little raised part and then the outer side kind of drops down for this and other pulleys to just kind of ride in it. So uh, I went ahead and I drove that in and I welded it all the way around. So now I have a trans pulley. I have a clutch idler. I have the engine pulley which is going to be the deck pulley that was on the snapper. I'm just going to make it work. Um, now i got to get all this modified put up in here and get the, uh, get the belt on, find a belt that fits. Then we can move on to linkages and stuff of that sort. So we pulled the trans out, cleaned it, Got a new uh, shifter knob and grip. I found some tubing to do the column on the steering column. Um, we added our clutch in. Had to make a linkage for the brake, but it is functional and the clutch is functional. We drilled a hole here, added a spring for the brake so it has a nice stiff push. We added a spot to mount our spring and we added a stop in for the brake pedal so it will stop at a certain level it is functional I just got to get a cable hooked up to it for the throttle and then a throttle return spring and this puppy will be ready for gas and brake. Now all we got to do tomorrow is get the clutch ran. Clutch pedal installed, ran. We got to make a separate linkage for only the clutch and it is going to run the clutch on the belt system there. Then I've got to get my other pulley cleared to go in which consists of cutting out this stop here and a couple other things get it cleared in uh, get the height match this pulley with the clutch pulley and the engine pulley find the belt that fits maybe add a flat idler somewhere I do not know yet so I want to take a quick second and pause video and ask y'all to help me with something I need y'all to do me a favor go down and hit that subscribe button smash it smash that bell uh, go like the videos uh, you know tell me where you're from say hi whatever ask me questions it doesn't matter um, I'm trying to get to a thousand subs um, and I cannot do that without your guys' help um, so definitely go subscribe check out the Facebook the uh, Instagram, the Snapchat, and now we have a TikTok. You can just go type in Flying Brown's Garage and you will find me. Um, 
all the profile pictures are the same. It's easy to find. Um, and yeah, give me some likes, give me some subscribes, and all that good stuff. I'm trying to build this, and I can't build it without everybody's help. So, hope you guys are enjoying the videos. Uh, you know, got a lot of good videos coming, constantly coming. Um, and I'm constantly sourcing new projects, so stay tuned, and with that being said, let's get back to the video. Ordered the chain last night. It should be here tomorrow, um, and Shaggy will be coming tomorrow, and he is bringing a load of bicycles that will have cables for throttles, so I'll see you guys tomorrow and we will have what we need should have what we need to get this thing on the ground running and riding and I can't wait alright we got us a chain came today it's not the most expensive chain but it should work um, and we got this come with a master link? It's supposed to. Oh, it's up here. I see it. Okay. Well, we're going to go out here and see if this chain fits. Well, this is what Shaggy brought in last night. One, two, three, four, five bikes and a scooter. It's like some pretty decent parts. Um, the chain doesn't fit. It is the wrong size. It's too small. So, back to the drawing board. Alright, we got our gas pedal hooked up with some brake cable parts from that scooter back there. A couple return springs. One on the uh, governor, one on the throttle. And then here's our rigging for the gas pedal. getting somewhere all right we've got our operated pedal I had to add an extension for the brake because it's hard to get to and our clutch is cut in I've still got to get it hooked up and everything but as of now it's cut in the floor let me get a light let's weld it in see the and all that good stuff so I've finished some welding on here um, tack some places like around the steering column box and finished up the rack and stuff like that so dinner bell just rung I'm actually about to go throw the feed sack on get something to eat come back out here and continue with trying to hook up my clutch chain finally arrived uh, I'm doing a little bit of adjustments to it because it's not fitting right just as of now it's got a little slack in it and it's trying to jump up here but I'm pretty sure I've got that figured out I got to get the axle adjusted to where it's not rubbing and everything's clearing properly and then we can go ahead and worry about our belt system so I got the chain in place it is being a kind of a pain in the butt because it needs a chain tension in. So I'm actually making one right now. There's the chain as you see. And it goes back to the axle. But I'm working on making a chain tension out of a flat idler. I'm going to cut it and then weld it to the body. Alright, so I'm heating up my metal here on the wood burn. Um, just a little bit so it's not cold it is cold outside and I don't want to weld it cold this is not going to bond very well 
So what I'm going to do What I'm going to do is weld that to there. That way I have a good surface to weld to the side. Because then I can weld all the way down. And then weld it to the side of the frame. It should be good to go. have our L-shaped bracket made. All I need to do is grind off a little bit on this end so it sits flush and then we can put it up in there, adjust it, weld it up on the frame and then we'll have our chain tensioner. Alright, got our surface shaved down. I wasn't the one that nicked this. Actually I'd given Shaggy this pulley to make a flat idler for a uh, snapper deck and uh, that's where that came from <clears throat> I just took it off and gonna use it as a chain idler but that surface is nice and flat and we're gonna weld it up on just like this straight up and down like that so the chain don't try to pull it down all right the chain tension is in place, but the light is not. Sorry guys, it's hard to do this. There's the tensioner, rides right on the chain, and uh, everything looks aligned. Got the axle tight on both sides now. So, one step closer to getting her going. Just a few more things. And we'll be riding this through the yard. Time to get the pulleys and the clutches aligned and a belt. Alright, we got a trans pulley on. <clears throat> and it is confirmed. Like my trans is good. A second. Uh oh. The second gear non existent. Hold on. This transmission is really old. So. Ah, second does work. We got third. And let's go first. First works really good. Reverse. Yeah, buddy. I got a transmission. So, with that being said, chain tensioner is working great. Um, <clears throat> the only thing I had to do was when I extended the axle, I kind of threw the chain just a tad bit off, and it ain't much, but what it did was it kind of just pushed the chain into the side here, and I've got that taken care of. Um, just took a little bit out of, the, out of the box there. So, chain has free roam to play now, and... Uh, yeah, it's looking pretty good. So we're going to go ahead and get the clutch hooked up and get a spring on it, which we have the linkage there. We have us a spring. Um, 
and we're going to figure out, um, I'm going to go ahead and try to break that pulley loose on the engine and get it shoved up and matching the others so I can go ahead and start sizing for belt. We got our clutch pulley aligned with our trans pulley. Now we all got to do is get the engine pulley broke loose and get it shoved up. And I've got it soaking the PB blaster now. I've went ahead and went around all of the moving objects on this and just soaked it with PB. I uh, went ahead and soaked the inside of the top of the shifter on the trans and PB and everything else. That way it'll move freely and stay lubricated. Um, I'm going to, I've already got the top side in. I'm going to actually see about maybe welding a, a washer, like tacking a washer on the very end of this, like right, right in here. That way when I slide this in, I can just throw another washer on it and a pin. Then I can figure out the rear and how to hook it up. And I gotta get a spring in there and a belt. And I think I'm gonna try to find a pull start. I think I have a pull start that may be compatible with this engine. So if I do, I'm gonna go ahead and put a pull start on it. Just to have as well. And yeah, we are so close to being done on this. It is ridiculous. Um, very, very close. I don't know if I'm gonna get it done tonight. It's looking like uh, I'm gonna have to order a belt. I don't have one that fits this setup, but Pulleys are all in line. Um, the back one looks a little lower because it's a snapper pulley and it is got that bottom for the rubber disc, the drive disc to ride on, but from the back it's all nice and level. Um, I got a little bit of a clearance issue <clears throat> with the brake. I'm going to try to solve this somehow. Um, but as of now, I'm going to leave the clutch disconnected until I get a belt so I can kind of know where I need to position it and the rod and the spring and stuff like that. So I'm going to leave all that disconnected. i got to order a belt and then we'll be back on this project again to finish up. So I think I'm going to make this a three-part video. Um, and what I'm going to do is the third part is going to be putting the belt on, getting the adjustments right, and going ahead and getting it on the dirt and starting to get this thing let it rip, let it eat. So I hope you guys enjoyed part two. Um, stay tuned for part three. Part three it will be alive and on the ground. So I'm going to go in, order a belt, and go on ahead and get this process on the way. So until then, go check out the Facebook, Instagram, uh, Snapchat, and the TikTok. You can all just go look up Fine Brown's Garage, type it in the search, and you'll find me. Go like the video, comment down below if you have any questions, just want to say hi, you know, say hi. I'm cool with that. Um, I will reply. Um, also, go check out Shaggy Small Engines on YouTube. You can just type in Shaggy Small Engine. That's my buddy or, you know, partner now, you know, working together and stuff like that. So, uh, go check out him. Subscribe to him. Show him some love. Check out his videos. He's just starting. Hasn't built his YouTube completely yet, but still go check him out. Also, go check him out on Facebook at Shaggy's Repairs. Um, and you'll see his business card as his profile picture and uh, you know, like that, that page as well. So until then, I will see you guys on part three.